I'm Washington State nature photographer Peter James, and obviously my biggest passion is photographing this gorgeous state and providing big metal prints of these photographs for people's homes and businesses. But a very close second is my passion for inspiring people to get involved with land restoration by supporting tree planting. Tree planting around the whole world is super important. We have to be thinking and acting locally and globally. And when I think about planting trees locally, one of my favorite organizations to support is the Nooksack Salmon Enhancement Association, also known as NC. I support them in a few different ways, one of which is I track uh, the fuel usage I have on all of my photo trips that I take around Washington State and I make a donation to equal to 10% of my fuel costs to NC to plant trees here in Washington and specifically Whatcom County, and that offsets those carbon emissions. Before COVID, every year we did an annual holiday ball here in the Orca building in Fairhaven as a way to both celebrate Fairhaven's Winterfest and as a fundraiser specifically to help our resident orca whales by planting trees, which in turn helps the salmon population. So when you think about a functioning ecosystem, it is a interdependent and interweaving web that is just really magical when you start to realize that it takes the right trees to support the fish that support the whales. So actually you're planting trees to help whales. It's really neat when it comes down to it. Me and my family have also directly participated in NC's tree plantings, gone to their events, and helped actually get the trees in the ground. And I have to tell you, it's such a fun group to uh, see how well organized they are and to participate in the tree planting events is something I really recommend for anyone who is in this Whatcom County area to, to put on your calendar the next time they have a tree planting and go and get involved. But this winter I had a really fun idea of a way to do a fundraiser, and that's to get other people like you involved in supporting NC. So I'm donating one of my big prints, and we're gonna do a drawing based on whoever donates to NC over the next two months. So the drawing will be held on Earth Day, which is April 22nd. And the print is a glorious 40 by 60 inch print of a salmon stream in the fall. I took this photo in Wallace Falls State Park in kind of an unusual spot. Obviously, Wallace Falls is a great spot to hike in and see several waterfalls, but this spot is only about a mile in on the trail, and you have to actually go down a, a drop off about seven feet down to the river's edge. So most people hike right by the spot, they're gonna go see the waterfall, and no one really stops here but for some reason my photographer's intuition told me, take a look over here and climb down this riverbank and the way the water was moving, the leaves down the river, it just caught my attention and inspired me to do this longer exposure image where it has this really silky look on the water and you can even see some of the leaves in the foreground that are moving around and the vibrant color of these orange and red leaves just contrasted against that blue gray of the rock and of the water in a way that is really striking. We don't know, but there could well be salmon cruising under that water just as I was taking the photo. So here's how the fundraiser will work. I'm encouraging you to donate whatever amount you feel inspired, but for every $10 you donate, you will be entered once to win the drawing for this metal print. If you donate $50, you'll get five entries. If you donate $100, you'll get 10 entries. And as a way to double your chances, if you come into our gallery in Fairhaven's Orca building and make your donation here, then every $10 donation, you'll get two entries. So if you donate $50, you'd get 10 entries. If you donated $100, you'd get 20 entries. So either jump online in the link that's provided below and make your donation now or stop by the gallery. We're open Wednesday through Sunday, uh, 1130 to seven, and the address is 1211 Mill Avenue in Bellingham's Fairhaven District. When you stop by to make your donation, I'll be more than happy to talk to you more about our passion for tree planting and share with you more of the artwork of this amazing and glorious state that we live in. 
These metal prints are probably the most environmentally friendly photographic process there is. The print itself is mounted on a sheet of recycled aluminum. And that aluminum itself, if the print ever got damaged, could also be recycled. So this will never end up in the landfill. It's a cradle to cradle system. The surface of the aluminum has a special coating that the dyes are heat transferred into at 800 degrees. So when the print cools, it's completely waterproof and scratch resistant. And the color pigments are a dye process, not a chemical process. With traditional color photos and film, it's a heavy metal silver halide process, which uses a lot of toxic chemicals and bleaches that get poured down the drain in most cases, which often end up in our rivers and water systems. So fortunately, digital photography is much cleaner than film photography. And these recycled aluminum prints are much better than traditional photographic prints. A quick summary of what tree planting can do. It is hard because it has such a powerful broad spectrum impact. But the bottom line is that functioning ecosystems are the source of life. So without them, we're not gonna have fresh water. We're not gonna have clean air. We're not gonna have wildlife. We're not gonna have healthy soils. So let's turn that around and say, the more healthy functioning ecosystems we have, the more fresh air we'll have, the more fresh water we'll have, the more wildlife we'll have, the more fish we'll have, the healthier our, our seas will be, the healthier our soils will be, the healthier our food will be. Some of the ways that trees support salmon are that salmon require a heavy flow of water. And without enough trees, what happens is that when it rains, the water doesn't soak into the ground as well. So in a heavy rain, the water goes straight into the river and rushes out to sea. And then that means when it's drier, that water isn't in the water table. It's not in the soil gradually feeding that river. And so the, the rivers actually run really shallow when it gets warmer, which isn't good for the salmon. They need a heavy flow to swim up the river. The water actually needs to stay cool as well, so the trees shade the water and keep those temperatures down, which is really important for them. When trees fall into the rivers, this is a vital function because it creates pools and eddies where the salmon coming up the river can uh, take a break and relax and rest behind these logs and these pools before they go back to beating up the river. And ultimately, um, the trees in the river also make good bedding places where they can actually spawn and lay their eggs. Thank you to everyone at NC for all the hard work you do. Thank you for everyone who are regular supporters of NC. They could not do this amazing work without you. And thank you for listening to this talk and hearing more about my passion for tree planting. And I hope that uh, you get a chance to enjoy the nature photography and really savor and appreciate just what a gorgeous place Washington State is and how lucky we are to have this place to enjoy and what an honor it is to continue to nurture this place by planting trees here and making sure that we have a really good healthy salmon run to leave as a legacy for future generations.